Waterloo. He said, I don't know what they do to the enemy, but by God, they frighten me. Before we start, I'd like to thank all the people that have organised today. I'd like to thank Tommy and his team for setting this up. I'd like to thank the police who have the thankless task of overseeing these events. They do a very good job and we're very grateful to them in a civilised society for doing it. I'd like to thank all the people that have turned out today. I'd like to thank all the Leave voters who have come. All the veterans who have come. All the UKIP members who have come. And all of the DFLA members who have come. And if I've forgotten anybody, then please excuse me. Thank you for everybody that's come. And let me see you wave those flags. The Union flags, the English flags, the UKIP flags, and any other flags that you've brought along. Today should be a very special day. We should be leaving the European Union. As of now, we don't know when we're going to leave the European Union. Mrs May has for the third time had her not really leaving the EU deal rejected by Parliament. We know that now Article 50 has been extended until the 12th of April. We know that Mr Tusk has said today that he's calling a Council, a council of the European Union meeting on the 10th of April. And we don't know when we're going to leave. What we do know is that if we don't leave the European Union, it will mark the end of democracy in the United Kingdom. It will mean that the result of the referendum was betrayed. Brexit will have been betrayed. The British people will have been betrayed. Our country will have been betrayed. Never before in the history of our country have we been brought to such national and international shame. Never before in the long history of our country have we been governed by such a set of traitors, quislings and collaborators. Mrs May's not really leaving deal is a surrender document for a conquered nation. Except that we haven't been conquered by a foreign power. Instead, those entrusted with safeguarding our freedoms and liberties have surrendered them to a foreign power, the European Union. Except that we have not surrendered it. It has been surrendered by that set of last rascals in the Houses of Parliament. Across all the political parties. But national independence and democracy can only die when no one can bother, be bothered to fight to preserve it. Let's remember why we had the referendum in the first place. Membership of the European Union has been a cancer at the heart of our political system since 1973. The essential question at the heart of the problem was this. Do we want to be governed by our own democratically elected parliament under our own laws? Or do we want to be governed by the undemocratic and anti-democratic European Union in Brussels? Our political class over there in the House of Commons and the House of Lords predominantly want to be governed by Brussels. The UK Independence Party was formed in 1993 
in order to fill full, in order to fill a political vacuum. UKIP was and is the only major political party that actually wants Britain to leave the European Union. It was the UKIP electoral threat that forced David Cameron to give us the referendum. It was UKIP that secured the referendum. It was UKIP that won the referendum. The politicians asked the British people to resolve the question at the heart of our membership of the European Union. And they did that by voting to leave. They did that despite Remain's project fear, despite Remain's lies, money and power, despite all that and the bias of the Remain media. Nevertheless, they held firm and they voted to leave. In the 2017 general election, the Conservative and Labour parties promised to implement the result of the referendum in their manifestos. And what have they done in the last two years and nine months? The Tories made a Remainer Prime Minister. And Parliament did exactly what I predicted they would do. They have delayed Brexit. They have impeded Brexit and they intend to overturn Brexit. We are now in the most serious constitutional crisis since 1642, when King Charles I put himself in opposition to Parliament. In 2019, our Parliament has put itself in opposition to the people. In 1649, King Charles I was beheaded for treason, not far from where we're standing now. We need to now behead the political class politically and the ballot box. How did we get into this mess where we are today? And the answer is simple. Number one, is because we have a political class of MPs and members of the House of Lords and a government that doesn't want to leave the European Union. Number two is that they willingly entered into the trap of Article 50. Article 50 is a mechanism to prevent countries leaving the European Union, not to make it possible. But it doesn't have to be like this. What could our government and our parliament do? They should tear up the withdrawal agreement and the political declaration. They should revoke Article 50 and tell the European Union where they can stick it. Then they should repeal the 1972 European Communities Act and we leave under our law, not the EU's law. They can offer continued tariff-free trade or WTO terms to the EU, their choice. They can offer reciprocal rights to citizens and they can tell the Republic of Ireland and the European Union that we are not going to build a wall. But if they want to, that's their business. And then government and parliament could set about repealing and amending the thousands and thousands of pieces of legislation that have been enacted over us over the last 46 years. And it will take time, but we need a government that is prepared to do it, and we don't have one. We know that Parliament and Government have no intention of doing any of the things that I have described to you. But it will be never too late to do them. But first we have to fill Parliament with patriotic politicians that want to do it. And that means
means making the UK Independence Party a mass movement. That's already happening. UKIP is moving up again in the polls. We will be fielding candidates up and down the country in the local elections on the 2nd of May. And it's looking increasingly likely that this country will have to take part in the European parliamentary elections if we have not left the European Union pretty quick, which doesn't look like it's going to happen. Now, if that happens, UKIP will field candidates in every region of the country. UKIP candidates, UKIP candidates will be Brexit candidates. Every UKIP candidate will stand on a platform of unilateral and unconditional withdrawal. UKIP candidates will be dedicated to taking Britain out of the European Union and putting themselves out of a job. And when the general election comes, we will fight that too. And when? The only way we can change things in this country is through the ballot box. We are nominally, at least, still a democratic country. And if you want to change something, you have to turf out that crew of traitors over there. We also need something of a cultural revolution. When we have patriotic MPs, we need to start the, a change in the tenor of the way this country and its people are told to think about themselves. They need to be proud of what they have done proud of who they are and proud of the, what they can do in the future. No people that wants to be free can be bound by a treaty or an agreement that robs them of their freedoms. But first they have to have the will to fight back. You have that will I believe, do you not? Do you think it's shared by a majority of our fellow citizens out there? I didn't hear that, I'm going slightly deaf. If you don't want to be free, then you are not entitled to have it. And if you want it, you have to defend it. And we have the privilege of living in a democracy where we can defend it. But that depends upon every person in the country that wants to live in a free, democratic, independent state and doesn't want to live under the rule of a bunch of faceless bureaucrats in Brussels. Join the fight to set Britain free. Join UKIP. Be part of that movement. Stand as candidates. Help us to prepare for the elections to come. Make UKIP bigger. Make UKIP stronger. Help us to have 650 candidates in the general election, which may, be, which may come sooner than we think. It's your country. It's your fight. Only you can make it happen. Help us to help you. Thank you.